Okay, so I just realized I got this kind of hooked up the wrong way. Um, it works, um, but I said I got my 15 inch Lanzar and one of my 12 inch Kenwoods hooked up at 2 ohms. Um, I think it is running at 2 ohms, but if you look at something, that right there has four wires running into a mono block. When actually, it's only supposed to have one wire. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to fix that and I'm going to show you uh, how it's actually supposed to be. So I'm getting ready to hook these up right. And uh, I just wanted to let everybody know, I got, I got some people that ask me questions about things. And I am more than happy to answer your questions and to tell you an answer to the best of my knowledge. So feel free to ask me any kind of questions. Um, they're fun to answer if I can answer them. But um, I just want to tell everybody that I'm, I'm like I'm not a professional. I, I've never professionally hooked up anything. Everything I do is just life experience. Just like. 10 years of hooking stuff up myself and just learning on my own and like from the internet and all that but um so if you ask me a question feel free to but I, I'm not always right on everything so I just want to let everybody know that so you know don't don't be mad at me if, if something I tell you is wrong but um I have been messing with it for a long time and I do know how to hook up everything Sometimes I forget wiring configurations and all that and um, um, All of my subs and amps and battery caps and all that's been pretty much um, Normal stuff like I've, I haven't had a system that's like massively hitting 150 or anything like that It's always just been you know one or two subs hitting like you know 130 at the max um, For now anyway, I mean I have the subs to, to do awesome decibels sitting in my place but to get the amps they are expensive and um, uh, but I will have them one day and so uh, I just want to let everybody know that but uh, anyway I'm getting ready to hook these subs up right so and you'll see what what they're how they're supposed to be hooked up all right be right back all right so this is what it's supposed to look like it's dark so I can't know if you can see but there's only two wires going in. Sorry, I've never owned a mono block amp until now. I've always had like two and four channels. So I was kind of confused on how to hook these up at two ohms, but I had to switch my speaker system around. I did have the 12 on that side and the 15 on that side, but some idiot fried the bottom here. So I only had one link on this one, which is cool. I just had to switch them around. But if you want to hook up two 4 ohm subs at 2 ohms, which is cool, you take and you run your positive and your negative down through here. I got long wire. I'm sick of cutting it. I done cut it in half. Run them over to your other sub, your positive and your negative. You know, don't, don't, don't mess none of them up. Your positive to your positive and your negative to your negative. Most speakers have um, two spots on them. Two for the positive, two for the negative. So after you run your positive and your negative from one sub over to the other, use your other little piece for your positive and negative and run that into the amp. So it's like so it's like this sub runs into this sub and this sub runs into the amp. So it just runs two ohm load. Um like I said, I'm not a professional, so some stuff I do I mess up on plus I've never had a mono channel amp or a mono block amp but um, Crutchfield will let you know uh, I'll even put a link up on top of me man if you want to know the wiring diagrams for Crutchfield awesome place but uh, yep that's simple of course I gotta let you hear what they sound like I mean you know I can't show you how to hook up uh, 4 ohm subwoofers at a 2 ohm load and not have any bass in the video. I mean, that'd be crazy. I mean, we're bass heads for God's sake. You watch this video for bass. So, uh, here's what's going to happen. Here's what it sounds like. I'll show you my stupid stereo since the lights quit working. That sucks. That light still works, but let's see what we got. We got bricks of the flat flat, chest of tumble, 
she was 24, this she is 28 I ain't several, that's the icing on the cake Wanna be a little nigga, I can show you what it takes thing I just pointed to on my box I need to put more of them on there those are like speaker grill clamps I put them on to hold my subs in which doesn't make them airtight at all um, but I take subs in and out so much and switch stuff around that that makes it better so I don't put holes in it like a million times but uh, I just felt a bunch of air coming out of that 15 so uh, I need to seal it better but uh, yep that's 2 ohm load on a 4 ohm speakers.